let me read you a story about Emily Dickinson and then ask you a few questions. Emily Dickinson was a very famous American poet. She wrote about 2,000 poems, but only four were published in her lifetime. No one wanted to publish her work because it was different from what other poets wrote. After Dickinson died, her poems were finally published. Then she became famous. Some things about Emily Dickinson's life are strange and mysterious. She was born in 1830 in Amherst, Massachusetts, to a rich and well-known family. She had a brother and a sister. Emily was shy and quiet, but she had friends. She went to parties like other young girls her age and met young men, but she did not fall in love with any of them and never married. After a while, Emily Dickinson did not want to see her friends. She stayed home. She read, worked in the garden, and wrote poetry. Dickinson wrote her poems everywhere. She wrote them on bits of newspaper or anything that was near. Later, she wrote them out carefully. When she was 28, something happened. Dickinson was very upset. No one knows why. Some people say she loved a married man. Others say she was unhappy because nobody wanted to publish her poetry. She continued to write anyway. As she got older, Dickinson wanted to be alone more often. When someone came to the house, she ran upstairs to hide. For the last 16 years of her life, she never left her home. The curtains were always closed. She dressed only in white. One day, Dickinson became ill, but she did not let the doctor in her room. He could only see her from the doorway. Dickinson died at the age of 55. Her sister found her poems and they were finally published. Sadly, Emily Dickinson did not live to enjoy her great success. Oh, very good. What an interesting story about an interesting woman. Did you understand the story? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Sala. Did you understand the story? On a scale of one to 10, how much of the story did you understand? One means I didn't understand anything. 10 means I understood every word. Wow, okay, very good. All right, now, did you like this story? Or let me ask you, do you like hearing these true stories about real people? Let me ask you some questions about the reading. Okay, the first three questions will be multiple choice. So tell me, is the answer A, 
B or C, okay? Listen to the question and then answer the question. Number one, Emily Dickinson, A, was famous before she died. B, was famous after she died. C, had a normal life. Number one, Emily Dickinson, A, was famous before she died. B, was famous after she died. C, had a normal life. Yes, number one is B as in boy. She was famous after she died. Number two, Dickinson blank all the time. A, visited friends. B, worked in her garden. C, wrote poems. Number two, Dickinson blank all the time. A, visited friends. B, worked in her garden. C, wrote poems. Yes, the answer is C, wrote poems. She would find some scrap paper or a newspaper and just write down her poems, right? And then later, she would write them again. Okay. She would write when inspiration hit. Ooh, idea, write it down, right? Okay, last multiple choice question, number three. In the last 16 years of her life, Dickinson, A, was ill all the time. B, did not leave her home. C, was happier than before. Number three. In the last 16 years of her life, Dickinson, A, was ill all the time. B, did not leave her home. C, was happier than before. Yes, very good. The answer is B. B as in Boston. In the last 16 years of her life, Dickinson did not leave her home. Mm. Interesting. Parallels with what's happening today. Okay. Now let's go to true or false. True is yes, false is no, right? Understand? Tell me, true or false? Number one, Dickinson had no friends when she was young. True or false? Dickinson had no friends when she was young. False. False. Number two, true or false, Dickinson never married. Dickinson never married, true or false. Number two is true, she never married. Good, number three, Dickinson dressed in white all her life. Number three, Dickinson dressed in white all her life. careful. Number three is false. She dressed in white later in her life. So these true or false questions can be tricky. You have to be very careful. Number four, Dickinson wrote more than 3,000 poems, true or false. Number four, Dickinson wrote more than 3,000 poems, true or false. Number four is false. She wrote more than 2,000, not 3,000. Good, two more questions. Number five, Dickinson's sister found the poems. Number five, true or false, Dickinson's sister found the poems. Yes, that's true, number five is true. Her sister found her poems after she died and then they were published. Okay, last question, true or false? Number six, Dickinson came from a respectable family. Hmm. 
Now, according to the reading, right? Not your opinion, but according to the reading. Number six, Dickinson came from a respectable family. True or false? Number six is true, right? She actually came from a rich family. Now, that doesn't mean respectable, right, in life, but according to the story, that's true. So remember, you are smart. Sometimes the test or the quiz isn't smart. So you have to think, how do I have to answer for this multiple choice question? How do I have to answer for true or false? Because I don't like any of these answers. Well, that's the precarious position we are put in when we're taking a binary test. So we have to think like the test for the test. After the test, no. We must think creatively and critically. But during the test, sometimes we have to we have to think what does the test taker want me to answer?